So what is the approach to treatment of smoldering multiple myeloma? Essentially, there are two extreme ways of looking at this disorder. We could have more of an immunological or preventive approach to treatment, wherein we are not really targeting the malignant plasma cells, but we are targeting the immune environment in which the plasma cell is. The benefit of doing these therapies is that they are associated with fewer side effects. As we know, you know the, the chemotherapy or immunotherapy, CAR T cell therapy for multiple myeloma is associated with increased risk of side effects. But by uh, following this approach, we can limit some of those side effects while still giving our patients some treatment. While these treatments might be slow to act, the results can often be long-term. However, in most studies, the response rates using these approaches could be lower than when we give a conventional chemotherapy or myeloma-like therapy for these patients. And the myeloma cells still persist because we are not really hoping to target them as much as we are trying to improve the immune environment. On the other end of the spectrum, we do have intensive chemotherapy, which has a curative intent. Now, definitely, we see a higher response rate with such treatments, but these results are short term and are associated with sometimes even MRD negativity, which is also a deeper response. However, these patients will have increased side effects. And there is a hypothetical theory that by targeting the malignant plasma cells early on in this stage of disease might cause their resistance down the line. Or we could, also tar we could also be targeting in smoldering multiple myeloma, the more populous normal plasma cells, which could actually cause an escape of the malignant plasma cells, causing an even uh, quicker progression of disease later down the line. 